could say something that was quite funny in the moment, and this is what I'm talking about, you know, with policing of words, that you can make a, you can make a joke, uh, and yet people would take it seriously, and what you've said in that joke was, I don't know, racist, sexist, uh, whatever you want to, and, and all of a sudden, it's out into the ether of the internet and all over the world, and all of a sudden, you're now fined two weeks wages. You're, you have to make a public apology because you didn't want to offend the people that you know you made a joke about. Get over it. It just drives me mad that people have to have to do that. You know, the easily offended people need to just. Uh, for me, it's a society where people are just looking to be offended all the time now, and I, I find that quite oppressive, quite frankly. Um, you know, I live and let live. If people want to take the piss out of me because I've got a big nose, carry on. You know, I don't give a fuck. Um, <laughs> and quite frankly, the more people that add that attitude, the better the world would be um, because you just can't get offended at words. You know, it just drives me mad sometimes. The world's got to chill out a bit, have a laugh. Stop getting offended by stupid shit. And why are people so easily offended? And then why are they so keen to voice that? Well, it's not only that people are easily offended, they've now started getting offended on other people's behalves of people who aren't even offended. Now that's the fucking brilliant one, that one. <laughs> Honestly, I just, just... Something in society must have changed. Uh, yeah, what has changed? Uh, the media have changed. The media's, what, what media's perception, uh, media, tell you what to think these days, they don't tell you the news. Uh, and so if they tell you you can't make a joke about a certain demographic of people, you don't, then you can't make a joke. I mean, I hate to be a comedian in this day and age. Jeez. Well, Ricky Gervais doesn't seem to give a shit. Well, if you've got enough money like Ricky <laughs> yeah. Gervais, you don't give a shit. Yeah. And, uh, and I have to say, I watched Supernature last week. Oh, he week picked every single I, thing he shouldn't say and said it. I haven't laughed so much <laughs> at the television in many, really many do, years. Yeah. It was just incredible. I mean, it take, it, you've got to be a good comedian to make me laugh out, properly laugh out loud uh, at the television, and he did it so much in that, in that hour. Mm. Uh, it was brilliant, and I think we need more Ricky Gervais. Yeah. I mean, his speech at the Golden Globes, was it? Was it? <laughs> that was just the funniest seven-minute speech I've ever seen in my life, and uh, fair play, Ricky Gervais, you've done well. Yeah, yeah, he's definitely got an attitude of can do what I want. And do you know what? I think the more people that have that attitude, the less, you know, the less the cancel culture people yeah. uh, will fade into the background, you know, because you can only be canceled if you let them cancel you. Mm. So don't, well, let, actually, don't let them cancel you. No. Keep speaking out, keep talking about it and shine a light on these people. Um, yeah. That, that's the way I think it should go anyway. Yeah, I just want to shout out to that um, super nature that Ricky Gervais because I love the way he weaves in a bit of political commentary and then his jokes yes. and then yeah I thought it's it was very fantastic. clever very clever yeah so if you enjoyed this make sure you like the video subscribe to the channel if you'd like to watch the full Matt Letitia unfiltered interview watch it here